Howdy. My emotes seem to be working today. Let's see how long that lasts. So, I did do a few things off camera, like I said I was going to. And uh, we'll go over those real quick. I did do a couple of things that I did not plan on doing. I added the composter here which is turning the or the uh, algae samples into organic material that's a good thing we're gonna need that uh, I added a another little parking connector for the rover that we started with and I uh, added the lights to this so if we come in you can see how much that lights things up around me that's pretty good added the headlights as well and I also added an extra thruster on each corner because I took this out and I took it for a test drive and uh, realized that there wasn't enough downward thrust to actually slow me down well enough when I was coming in for a landing so I mean it did it the thing didn't wreck nothing broke nothing was damaged um, you can see all the tires kept all their air it was no problem really but it was going to become a problem so I added a couple of thrusters and I added this band of plates around the side there to kind of look like they're boxed in somewhat so yeah uh, one thing I did think about while I was not paying much attention off camera um, I'm glad we've got that there. I added a couple of lights here, so we've got lights around us when it's dark. But I realized I forgot to put something in this hole. The whole purpose on this platform was so we could build the silver node over there. I don't have an ore detector. So, I'm going to throw an ore detector on here. And I'm kind of torn I'm not sure whether to put it on top of one of these containers. Oh, yeah, I added these containers, too. Mainly, I needed something to store food. Oh, we should probably deposit all that ore in there. I needed something to store food and water while I'm away. Um, so, yeah, we need to put an ore detector on here. So, let's go ahead and do that right now. We'll get rid of uh, the bed. We'll add an ore detector. I'm not sure why an ore detector needs motors. If I'm being brutally honest. Um, yeah, I'm torn. I'm not sure I want to put that there. I think what I'll do is I will get rid of this container because I don't need two containers up here. I'm just going slow because all scrap found your crap. It uh, gives you better chance of getting back decent resources, or so I've heard, if you go slow at it. So let's put that right there. And uh, we'll draw what we need. There we go. Okay, let's see the ore detector. We are going to rename that one. Platform. Going to bump its range all the way up to 300 meters. Okay. That works out nicely. Now we're going to add that to the bar. So we can turn it off. because it uses a lot of juice all right so the first order of business oh um and i had to move these back because I, I realized that that was the problem i didn't have enough space here for it to spawn me reliably behind the the controls um hopefully i fixed that issue uh i guess time will tell we'll find out if i fall to my death Let's hope that doesn't happen. Although, I'm sure you'd find that entertaining to watch me fall. Um, 
yeah, so I think we're good to go now, uh, unless the game crashes. So I'll be right back. All right, so pop me back in, and uh, I lost a few minutes. So I guess we'll do this again. Oh, I went fast. I didn't want to go fast. Oh, well. All right. We'll add the ore detector. And, uh, wait. Is that st it still has the ore detector on my build planner, though. Ah, uh, make up your mind, space engineers. Okay, now let's just save. There, we won't lose the ore detector again. Okay, so let's see, ore detector. Bump that back up again. Rename it to uh, platform. And put it on the bar. Okay, so now we see the lake ice. Turn it off, because it kills batteries. <sighs> Alright. And we're going to save one more time. I don't like it when it does that. I don't like it when it leaves me high and dry. And backs up my progress. Anyways. So, I think we're now ready. We can head over there to the silver node. Because I do have that marked um, over that way. Silver and gold. So we're going to head over there and we're going to put down a silver node. Uh, I happen to know there's a magnesium around here somewhere. And we are going to look for that. Let's see. How much resources do I have right now? I have, I didn't want to hit that, I wanted to hit this. I have just on this grid. Come on. Looks like I have everything I need. I've got plenty of cobalt. I went over and I grabbed a bunch from the cobalt mine. Mmm, that's going to be pushing it. Let's go see what we've got over there at the uh, the stone mine. I really love that radar up in the top right corner. I can see that there are absolutely no wolves here right now. Okay, so I did take it all from there. Hmm. Frustrating. I thought I would have had more than that. That's okay. It should be plenty enough to be able to build this um, silver node. Alright, inventory's empty. Alright, we're just going to drive over to that silver node. And see where it gets us. Oh great, thunderstorms. It's really sluggish driving this thing. Zoom in a little bit so I can actually see the ground. Oh, probably because we were just running on solar power. There we go. That's a little better. Let's see how this beast actually handles any sort of terrain if we get to a spot where it can't handle the terrain that's not really a big deal either because it does fly but I would prefer not to spend all of my battery flying 
to the location. If I'm going to spend the battery, I'd rather use it while building. Using it for what it's actually meant for. So, we got about 3 kilometers and uh, moving slow enough that I'm not going to damage this thing along the way. It might take me a few minutes. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so we're here. Just got to get positioned over the silver. So, I know that I'm in the right spot. All right, that looks good. Turn on the parking brake. Turn off the uh... huh? That's weird. I'm not holding my drill. All right, on off got flipped for that somehow. So. Here we are. This looks like the right spot. I can't even see it. it. Must be down farther than my drill can go. All right. So I'm going to grab some steel plates so we can get start getting things laid out. And uh, I'm not sure that this is a good idea, but we're going to put down a, a big thumper here. This is the advanced static drill. And we're going to hope it's good. We're going to hope I have enough resources for it, I should say. All right. And then I'm going to put down... think that's right yeah oh it's almost night time uh, yeah I think that's the right spot okay well we're going to let uh, night time happen we're going to turn on the lights and move this closer let's turn this on make sure we're still good Yeah, looks like silver's right under us. Okay. Now, I'm unsure where I want to put the... Oh, I should have put a battery on my bar. Okay, let's add a battery. So... I'm thinking we'll put a battery here. And on top of that, this is where the scaffolding is going to be replaced with um, with the ship. So we're going to bring this out. One, two. And I've got this in the way a little bit. I'm going to need um, two towers of wind farm just like we've got over on the cobalt mine because that's what allows us to run this large refinery and the large automatic drill okay so two three four five six seven eight nine and now we're gonna have to bring each of those up nine so this is where we're gonna find out if this works let's turn on the gyros turn off that I guess I should turn on the headlights too all right I don't need that on. I need this on. Oh, and I need the beacon on. 
just in case. Let's see what that beacon is set for. It is set for, I don't need it to be two kilometers. I need it to be like 500 meters. No, I want the parking brake on. I wonder. Um, control. Control G? No. What is it? No, that ain't it. Maybe I just can't do block placement from this cockpit. If that's the case, that's fine. Just means I'll have to do this. Which means I'm going to have to go lower. Too close now. Son of a biscuit. Okay, this is going to be a slow process, but I think it's better than scaffolding. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I came back too far. Nine, ten. Too close. Well, it's not the most elegant way to do things but it seems to be working you know what they say if something seems like a bad idea but it works it's not a bad idea that would have been a bad idea though all right a little bit higher i am too close am i still too close oh, i need interior plates to build these let's go ahead and move as close as we can to this that would be as close as we can get Let's just go ahead and change the production up a bit. I'm going to need all of that, but for now, let's just worry about getting the wind turbines done. Just going to try and make things a little bit easier here. Crap. There we go. That was a little bit hairy. I'm too close here. Let's move the interior plates to the top. Let's move closer to those. I can't reach it. Need some more interior plates for that. Now I'm kind of focusing on getting these in, these turrets in place, but um, I actually didn't plan on building up all of these things yet. I was going to get all the blocks placed and then weld them up off camera. Well, I'll finish these four and then I'm going to land and bring back daylight. Move all of this stuff up into you. Weld these up. Oh, too high. Well, this up. Now let's go to the ground. We got one of these done. Which I'm going to count that as a win for now. And we're going to turn off the thrusters. Alright, now let's get some shut-eye. Sleeping is a wonderful thing. And we have daylight. All right. Well, 
In that case, let's uh, drive this over here and let's get this thumper working. Uh, I keep referring to this as a thumper, and if you're not familiar with the mod, you'll see why. I'm going to weld this up real quick. Uh, the reason I'm welding it up real quick is because I want to make sure that it's actually going to pull silver. If we get this all placed and we build everything in here and it's in the wrong spot, then we've wasted all of our time. It's a lot of trips back and forth, though. All right, let's see. Where's the production at? All right. So I'll get this welded up, and we'll be right, right back. All right. So the reason we welded that up is so that we could come in here and we could check the stats. If you look down here, once you've got this build up, uh, actually, if you've got an access panel, you can check. It will say currently extracting. In this case, we got what we wanted. We got silver because we are over the silver node. Um, it is not producing. It is in the ground. And the inventory is not full. So... You're going to want to check those stats on here before you build up your entire facility. Because sometimes you're off by a pixel or two and for some reason the, the game just doesn't see it where it's supposed to see it. So we need to add one more tower of wind turbines. They're going to go right next to it. So I'm going to get that added in here and I'm going to get the wind with... Uh, get everything welded up and we'll be right back all right that was the last block and now you can hear why I call that the thumper I think I want to add a couple of blocks here to just fill that in I'm thinking a uh, I'm thinking a let's see just a steel plate under here a steel block. Or not. Come on. Work already. Alright, let's pull this thing a little bit further forward. Get it out of the way. That ought to be enough. there and then I should be able to do this no it doesn't want to let me place a block there huh that's weird that's really weird all right we're gonna do something kind of silly here because these boxes will fill themselves back in in a few minutes. Alright, and then I want a set of stairs here. Just like that. That's exactly what I want. Come on, interior plates. I bet they're just too far down in the production queue. Alright. Weld those up. Weld that up. And then we'll be done building on this. Alright. This should be good to go now. 
And you'll see we have 66 uh, silver here. But that's the thumper. Oh, apparently that was a silent one. There we go. All right. I'm happy with this. Um, I think I'm going to leave these on their first build state. Um, I kind of like that look for this. I'm probably going to turn off lightning damage before the next playthrough. So that we won't have to worry about that. But there we have it. We have silver. Uh, I'm considering going and doing the same thing on magnesium. And uh, I'm not sure yet, to be honest. I'd like to, but I'm not sure. For now... Let's just take back some silver and build ourselves a survival kit on the temporary base we have. Because that will be nice. And I know I've got most of my battery life yet left, so I'm going to go that four kilometer. Oh, before I do that, I almost forgot. I need a GPS here. So GPS. Um, gonna go Earth-like silver node all right that's good let's dump all of our stuff in here okay and since we are close enough I think we're gonna turn off all the lights and we're just gonna fly back because we can it's a slow flying craft but it's faster than trying to drive over all this and i know that i have enough battery to to fly that distance at least we have cobalt so i don't need that one Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a hairy flight because I don't trust this craft in the air. Let's stop the wheels from turning. Because leaving the wheels turning is just inviting clang. Well, hell, building a flying ship with wheels on it at all is just inviting clang. Although I will say that that has gotten a lot better. I don't know if they intentionally fixed that or if it was just a happy accident, but that does seem to have gotten better. All right. Now that we're on the ice, I'm just going to drive. Turn the beacon off. Wrong button. Wrong button. There we go. And I gotta quit hitting the wrong button. 
There we go. We're all parked back at the base. And, uh... Our craft is... Slowly... Charging up. Now, I can't remember if the basic... Assembler can actually make medical components. I'm hoping it can. Yes, it can. Good. Woo! That means we can make some medical components. I'm not exactly sure how many we need. But let's start off with 10. Ten looks good. Right. We are going to take this off our bar. We're going to throw a survival kit down there. And I'm just looking to make a survival kit. Nothing more. We're going to throw a survival kit on the base over here. We may wind up increasing the size of this uh, base a little bit just to not have to go outside when we respawn. In fact, we will. Let's just go ahead and do that now. We got the survival kit there. Take that off our bar. We will throw in... Let's see. I want catwalk... Uh, well, the steel catwalks. And I want those. And what am I taking out there? I'm taking out a door. Alright, those take interior plates. And those take interior plates. Let's make them a bunch of interior plates. Oops, there we go. Now we're going to take out this. That's not going to separate anything, is it? It shouldn't. Okay, no, we're attached to that hallway, so we should be good there. Okay. Lock that down. Wrong one. Oh, well, just throw that there, too, so it looks like it's supporting it. Will that interrupt my respawn? If I could, I would like to put a passageway light there. I don't know if that's going to hurt anything, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a corner here. That'll give us access to the end of that from inside. For here, we'll go ahead and put a, a T-junction. We'll put that there. For this, we want just flat. That should make it airtight. I need a bunch of interior plates still. We'll go grab all that stuff. All right. So that's that done and dusted. Well, done enough for now. I think we're going to end it here. Uh, that should come out to be about a half hour video now. Uh, hopefully I'm actually hitting the mark this time. And uh, yeah, so... Thank you all for joining me, and uh, next time, we are going to probably go put in a magnesium node, and putting that in, I, putting in that uh, med bay, I realized that we are actually short on iron, so we're probably going to put in an iron node next time or i may do that off camera i may do the magnesium and iron note off camera um so that we can start building the base so yeah next time you you'll probably see a magnesium and iron node done and hopefully we will start building the base so yeah uh <laughs> next time until then thank you and it won't let me it won't let me wave now what the heck 
see. No, my waves are broken again. My emotes are broken again. Oh, I can point that way. All right, point to the left. <laughs> Anyways, let's just do this. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you didn't, well, go ahead and hit that too and tell me in the comments why I'm such a noob. Because I, I guarantee you it's nothing I haven't heard before. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Y'all have a good day. Bye.